Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome to cooking with Ashray. <laughs> step one is cooking with salami. Take the salami, just chuck it. <laughs> just kidding. Step one, take the salami, put it on the stove, and cook it that shit. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> you are a fucking idiot if you think you can cook without the spoons and the utensils. Oh, fuck, this one is a dirty bitch. Step two, if you can't cook the salami on the stove, just roast it. Hey, you dirty little stupid son of a bitch. Step 3 is you put some oil in your pan. <laughs> Be careful, don't put too much oil, otherwise you'll increase your cholesterol. <laughs> Step 4 is very simple, while oil is getting hot, you think about interesting things, such as why you were born or why your dad left for grocery store 13 years ago and didn't come back, bro. Step 5 and probably the most important step of cooking a salami is thinking that good food comes from the heart. It's about the inspiration. As my great granddad said on his deathbed, why go to Miami when you can cook some salami? Now with the inspiration and dedication it is ready. This is of course my prepared food. I call this one salami, salam f, salam g, salam h and etc etc. Nobody likes a lonely salami so you take your salami, you pair it with some breads, some mustard sauce or some tomato sauce. It is very very important to find the right combination of the sauce. It has to be saucy, it has to be saucy sauce. If you are making food for your date and you are feeling a little adventurous, then you can also have some wine uh, if you to make it little spicy meals. But if you are single, you can also drink wine, you fucking lonely loser bitch. Final step is to get beaten by Ramma for making international foods and eat your sambar rice and aloo at home. What a lovely, oh, love it mommy, love it. Thank you for coming to Cooking with Ashray. I'll see you next week or next month or tonight. <laughs> Good night, babes. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm eating, Amma.